Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for the sixth Sunday of Easter. I'm Father Scott, and uh, I'm in Staten, Oregon, preaching at this parish here. And in front of the church, one of the former pastors planted this lovely garden. Look at these irises, every color and kind. Tis lovely all around, spring, of course. And that fits in. Why do we have Easter when we have it? Tis after the equinox, when in the northern hemisphere, the earth is being reborn. So we use that image. And in our second reading, we have the image of the heavenly Jerusalem coming down to earth. A beautiful thing it is. And it's built on the foundation of the apostles, 12 courses of stones with their names listed there. Because, of course, the 12 apostles are replacing the 12 tribes so that we built this new thing on the faith that comes to us to the apostles. And then this heavenly Jerusalem come down to earth doesn't need a sun or a moon because it's lit by the glory of God. So it's everywhere, right? The glory of God is everywhere. So there's light everywhere. Tis a beautiful, beautiful image. And it should remind us of what's awaiting for us if we're heaven bound. And I hope we are. The glories of this earth are nothing compared to the glories that will come. But the glories of this earth are a reflection a reflection of the glories to come. And we should let the earth tell us about rebirth. And let some wee slice of heaven that we find remind us of what is to come in its fullness. And we can preach about the glory to come by making a wee slice of heaven on earth plant a beautiful garden, feed someone who's hungry, love someone, visit them who's got no one to visit them. In these little ways we make a little wee slice of heaven on earth and we let that remind us so much more is to come but it's busting into our world already so we can trust that. So today, go out and find your wee slice of heaven, or make it. God bless you.